Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to Esther's Song of Praise. I hope that all of you are having an amazing day. And I know Christmas is right around the corner. I just can't even believe it. This year has flown by. Um, it's definitely been challenging for a lot of people, myself included. But, you know, regardless of what we're going through personally, God is still on the throne. God still, he loves us and, you know, life is lifing <laughs> right now um, for myself and a lot of people. So if you are having a difficult time, you know, during this holiday season, know that I am praying for you and I ask that you please keep me uplifted in your prayers as well. But we're going to continue on with the book of Psalms, chapter 96. If you're new here, welcome. I'm going to ask the Lord to, you know, bless his word in a brief prayer. <clears throat> and then I'm going to read the chapter and share a few of my favorite verses at the end. And I invite you to, you know, do the same in the comment section. Let me know what verses are your favorite from chapter 96. And you know, if the Lord has done any miracles in your life, I'd love to hear, you know, testimonies or prayer requests, whatever it is. Um, I definitely want to hear from you guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started and ask the Lord to bless his word. Lord God, we thank you today. We praise your name, Lord God, that we know this year has been extremely difficult for many people. And I pray for each and every person out there who's having a difficult time during this holiday season. It's been quite a challenge and you know everything that, that we're going through collectively as well as individually. And Father, I just ask that whatever burdens are on the hearts of my brothers and sisters, Lord God, that you would ease those burdens or that you would answer our prayers, Father. I ask, Lord God, those who are in pain and in suffering, Lord, that you would send healing to their bodies, Lord God, and in their minds and spirits, Father. We ask that you will continuously send angels before us to protect us, Lord God, and keep us safe, Father. We ask that you would bless your word, Lord God. Give us wisdom, Father God, divine wisdom from heaven, Lord. Open our, our, our spirits to receive what you have in store for us that only comes from reading your word. Lord, we know that there is power in the name of Jesus. We know that your word is transformative. And we ask that it will continuously do a transforming work in each of our lives, Lord. We thank you and we praise your name, Lord God. We worship you today. Amen. The book of Psalms, chapter 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name, proclaim his salvation day after day, declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among the peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and glory are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world is firmly established, it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Let all creation rejoice before the Lord, for he comes. He comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in his faithfulness. May the Lord bless the reading of his word today. So King David, there's a lot of rep repetition, right? 
um, within this particular chapter. And he is, you know, um, really admonishing us to worship the Lord, right? Not just here on earth, but also, you know, verse 11 says, let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad, let the sea resound and all that is in it. So that's, you know, heavenly beings and sea creatures and human beings, um, all, anything that has breath, right, are worth to praise the Lord. And I love the fact that, you know, again, we know that when the Bible repeats itself, it does so for um, emphasis and to really, you know, send home the importance, right? So he opens this chapter with, you know, encouraging us to sing to the Lord a new song, right? All the earth praise his name. He says it three times. And after he, you know, says for us to sing to the Lord um, three times, then he says, declare his glory among the nations and all of his marvelous deeds among all the peoples. And I love that, right? Because listen, these past few years, um, you know, we have survived a global pandemic We have survived inflation, you know, illness, um, just all these different things that have occurred on a global scale. And, you know, there's a lot of um, unrest in the Middle East and, you know, just a lot of things um, that have been happening. But at the same time, no matter what's going on in the world, I love the fact that, you know, God is, he's sovereign and he's still in control. And so... You know, with David, even in his life, right, he's literally on the run, you know, hiding in caves and just, you know, having to battle um, King Saul's army. And in the middle of all of that turbulence and chaos, he's saying, he's looking up, he's saying, you know, sing to the Lord, remember his goodness, right? For great is the Lord. And most worthy of praise, he is to be feared above all gods. And he repeats it, right? For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. And so it's so important to keep our eye on the ball, to remember that God is worthy to be praised in our good times and in our bad times. You know, when we have um, just got paid or our bank account is in the negative, you know, the Lord provides all of our needs according to his splendor and glory. And so, you know, the days that we feel really good physically, the days that we're ill, God is is, is worthy to be praised and splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and glory are in his sanctuary. We just have to remember to go to him, just cry out, you know, Jehovah Jireh. You are my provider. He is our heavenly father and he loves us. Right here, he again repeats himself three times saying, ascribe to the Lord, um, you know, glory and strength, all the families, all the glory that's due his name. And I love that because a lot of times we can get caught up in the everyday, um, you know, just whether it's a routine or, you know, the cares of the world. Right. And Jesus warns us about that during his short um, time on earth, not to be boggled down by those, but to remember that we serve an almighty God, a heavenly father who um, is, is glory. It was glorious and powerful and strong. And so, you know, verse 10, it says, say among all the nations, the Lord reigns. The Lord, the world is firmly established. It cannot be moved and he will judge the peoples with equity. So God is our, is our judge. And thank you, Lord, that we have Jesus, you know, who, because of Calvary and the sacrifice on the cross that we can go to him, have, you know, with all of our sins forgiven, such a beautiful, beautiful um, truth. But, But here again, right. David is repeating himself saying, you know, let the, let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea resound and all the tenant, let the fields be jubilant. Let all creation rejoice before the Lord for he comes to judge the earth. But as Christians, we're forgiven. We love that. He will judge the world in righteousness, but his peoples 
and faithfulness, right? So, you know, if you're a Christian, you accept Jesus into your heart as your Lord and Savior, then you're forgiven because the Lord is faithful and just. However, if you're not forgiven and protected, then you have to stand and answer in your own righteousness. And all of our righteousness is as filthy rags. Nobody wants that. <laughs> um, there's none righteous, no, not one. That's what scripture tells us. So with that being said, I hope that all of you guys enjoyed this chapter, enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to like the channel. It's a free way to support. Also, please be sure to share with your loved ones and subscribe if you have not done so already. And I will talk with you in the next video. Take care, brothers and sisters. Be blessed. Goodbye.